Good morning. I've had quite a few questions lately about how you add sidebars to a block based theme or a block theme or a full site editing theme. So that's what this tutorial is all about. I'm going to show you four things today. How to add a sidebar to a block theme, how to style the sidebar, how to make it sticky which can look really cool and also how to add dynamic sidebars so you can show different sidebars and widgets on different pages. Let's get into it. So this is how you add a sidebar to a block based theme. I'm using the 2022 theme and this is what it looks like out of the box. It's got a central piece of content but actually I would love to have a sidebar over here and potentially over here on the left. So let me show you how you add a sidebar. So start by clicking edit site at the top which takes you into the site editor. Then we need to find the page template. Now 2022 theme has two page templates. It's one called page and one called page no separators. The no separators is a slightly different design. The main page template is this one here. So we're going to click on page that opens up the page template for that page and the first thing I recommend you do is click on the list view up here. That's going to show you that all the blocks that make up this page essentially. So the list view is is your way to make this really easy. And you see fundamentally this is made up of a header which is the top bit, a footer which is the bottom bit and then we've got this stuff in between which is actually contained in a group block which has our post title which is our page title that's the same thing and a featured image and then some other stuff but the important stuff really is this post content item here. So what we're going to start by doing which is kind of scary is we're just going to delete that group that middle group so all we're left with is the header and footer and now essentially we're going to create our layout with a sidebar just using the columns block. Now we're going to use the columns block to do this today but if you have a favorite layout third party layout block that you want to use you could use that here instead. So I'm going to click on the three dots and click insert after. That's going to let me insert a block between the header and the footer. And then I'm going to actually hit forward slash columns to find the columns block. You could use the block inserter to do this and drag it across but I find hitting forward slash and then the name of the block is quicker. And then just find the columns block here and insert it. It's going to ask me what layout I want for this. So I want the, the content on the left and the, the sidebar on the right which is that little option there. That sets the columns layout for me. Now I could change the width with the width of each of these columns by, by clicking into the column and selecting the width over here. I'm kind of happy with how they are so I'm going to keep the proportions the same. And now we just need to add the content into our layout that we've just designed. Now I'm going to keep this really simple today. I'm just going to add the post title block. Now the post title is the same as the page title. It's the same thing. So I'm going to add that block in here and then underneath that I'm going to add the post content. You see I'm just typing post content. And that's all I've got in this left hand column now. Let me just show you how this looks to start with. So I'm going to save that. So what should what should have happened now when we go and view one of our pages we should have some content on the left like this and a blank space over on the right which is going to be our sidebar. So now what we have to do is add the stuff into our sidebar. This is what we've got so far and I'm actually just going to add a search box over here. So I'm going to search for search that adds the search box. Then I'm going to click insert after I want a bit of space after it to let it breathe a bit. I'm going to add a spacer block and then after that one, insert after, I'm actually going to add an image block like so. I'll just choose an image from my library. But you could add any blocks into this sidebar that you wanted. Just click save and when I refresh this now, boom, there's my sidebar. And that will now appear on every single page that's, that's using that page template, which is all your pages at the moment because that's the default page template. So let me show you this. If I just create a new page quickly, let me just add some content into that page and publish it. You'll see that that page now inherits that page template and there's our sidebar. So that's how you add a sidebar. Next up, I'm going to show you how you style it. Right, styling your sidebars is super easy because we're just using blocks. So it all happens at the block level again. So we go back to the page template that we've just created. Use the list view to select the right column the right column which is this one here which is the second column. So now I've got that selected we see some settings over on the, the right that we can change. Now all I did was tweak a few little things here. I actually changed the background color to this nice subtle gray. I also added some extra padding because it's quite tight at the moment. You see how the image there's no real space between the search box or this image and the column itself. So I just added a little bit of padding here. I added 50 pixels. You can decide how much you want to add. You can also by the way you can add padding at the top level columns box. So if I add the top level columns here you might want to add a bit of padding into that. That just gives the whole column a bit of room to breathe. Now when we go back to this page and reload it there we go. We've got it was quite subtle but you'll see that the whole columns block has got a bit of padding around it and now we've got this lovely sidebar with 
which can breathe because we've got we've added a bit of padding around the image in the search box and it has that lovely lovely light gray subtle color behind it right next up this is going to show you how you create a sticky sidebar so as your reader scrolls down and reads your content the sidebar remains in a fixed position so it can be really cool and useful sometimes we're actually going to use a free plugin to do this called sticky block for gutenberg editor i will put a link in the description below for you so just install that as you normally would in your plugins which i've done on this site you can see it's active there and then go to the site editor find your template your page template that you've already been editing here's the one i created a few minutes ago then we're going to start by clicking on the list view so the list view again is super helpful because it shows you a really clear view on what you're building and i would say collapse sorry uh, yeah collapse the header and footer one so you're just left with your columns block here essentially now what we need to do we need to add the sticky block into this column because it actually comes as its own block and then put these little blocks search spacer and image as sub blocks of that block so what we do is we click on the search block and we're going to go insert before that basically gives us the space to add a block and we're going to go forward slash sticky just add the sticky block in now that's like a container block so what in itself is not doing anything so we need to put the search blocks underneath it so i'm just going to drag and drop the search one to the right slightly the same with the spacer block and the same with the image block that means those are all now contained and they are sticky by themselves now over on the right you'll see we have some sticky options here so we've got some uh, space between the sticky block and the top of the screen so you can set that what you like i'm going to say set that at 50 pixels uh, you could also say um, you've got some mobile settings here and you've got a few other options but essentially that's it we should be ready now so if i save this and now go and visit this about page and then scroll down can you see how that sticky block is now stuck to the top but your readers can continue scrolling your content and the final thing i'm going to show you today is how to create dynamic sidebars which means you can you can have different sidebars on different pages and also in different positions so there's just three steps to get these to work i'm going to show you some top tips for speed as, along the way as well so step one is create your new sidebar page template two i'm going to show you a neat way to swap those columns around so you can have a sidebar in a different position and then three when you're creating your new pages you need to choose that page template when you're creating those pages so what we're going to do is step one first so we're going to create our new page template this is definitely going to get better in a future version of wordpress at the moment it's a bit of a clutch to create a new page template you actually have to create a new page like i've done here so i'm actually creating a new page then go over on the right here and you'll see template option and then you need to click on new now this is definitely 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 going to get much much better in the future so i'm going to call this left sidebar page and just click create essentially this is creating a new blank page template that i can use and then that creates the base template and now i'm just going to get out of there um, and go back to the site editor because it's actually created it for me so if i go to editor now and go to my templates you'll see i've got a brand new page template called left sidebar page which is cool that's just waiting for me to create my page but i'm actually going to do a shortcut here what i'm going to do is go back to the, the page template that i've already created with my sidebar and i'm going to click on columns and i'm going to copy the whole of those columns because i'm going to copy these into my new page template and then just switch columns around so i've copied that by clicking on the three dots and clicking copy then i go back to my templates click on left sidebar page these are my this is my page so far so actually what i'm going to do because it doesn't quite create it in the right way i'm going to delete a lot of these blocks so i'm basically just starting with a blank page template and i'm going to basically insert after here and i'm going to add the header first because for some reason at the moment when you're creating a new page template it doesn't create you your header properly so i'm going to choose header and just choose existing and that just brings in my existing header you see how quick it is to build, build these things out i'm going to delete that separator block up there and then under the head header here i'm going to add a new block i'm going to go insert after and then i'm just going to paste my columns block into that space you get what i'm doing here and then I'm simply going to switch these around. So I can click on the column block here and just switch a row and see how it's just switched it around. And then if I wanted to, I could add the footer at the bottom as well. Let's do that quickly because it, for some reason, it doesn't bring the footer in either, which is kind of annoying. But again, all these things will be fixed up in the next version of WordPress. And that's it. Just click save. And that's created that page template for me. The final step is when you're creating your pages. So if I go and create a new page now on my site, Let's just go add new page. Let's call it meet the team. If I could type, there we go, meet the team. I'm gonna add some content into that. Put some gibberish in there. The key bit is over on the page settings here, you have to choose that new template that you've added. Just choose the left sidebar page, which is great because then you can choose which pages show which sidebars. Click publish 
and now that page will be showing the sidebar on the left. Now obviously if I wanted to switch around what I showed in that sidebar I could just go back to my left sidebar page template which I've done here. I could remove, let's say I remove the image block here and then after this spacer block I'm just going to add some text, just some text in that. So just on the pages that use the left sidebar page template they're going to have text instead of the images whereas on my other pages are going to have sidebar in a different position with different content in. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, as you may know by now, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <coughs>